Now I haven't used gimbals that much in the past, but the one that I did use is the Zion Crane Plus. I've always had a tough time balancing this one. So I went ahead and looked into buying a new one, especially because I'm gonna be getting more into wedding videography and I needed something a little bit more my play style. So this Black Friday, I actually ended up buying a new gimbal, the Zion Weevil S. Now this gimbal looks a little bit easier to balance, so I'm hoping for the best. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick unboxing, show what comes in this box and try and balance this with the Sony a7R III. Now I do have a pretty beefy lens with the 2870 Sigma lens, so I'm hoping for the best. Let's see how hard it is to balance this bad boy for the first time. All right, so let's see what we got inside here. One thing I didn't notice, it doesn't come with a case, so I'll have to figure out a way to transport this in the future. Here she is. God, it looks like such good build quality. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look what we all got here. Um, so it looks like we got some charging cables, you know, your basic batteries, um, mounting plate. You got a nice stand for the gimbal. Now this actually looks and feels like really good build quality here. It's plastic, but it feels like a nice durable plastic. And then you got the gimbal. Wow, that actually feels fantastic in your hands. Looks like we got another mounting plate and bracket. Nice slide. And of course, your battery charger. Let's go ahead and move this to the side. First impression is uh, I'm liking that there's not a lot of clutter. The build quality feels nice and sleek and professionally made. There's some plastic parts on here, but it's not that heavy, so I'll take the plastic. I'm not really sure anything else about this right now, so I'm probably gonna have to watch the tutorial and then go ahead and go through setting up this gimbal. But so far, really liking it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and slam these guys in the charger for a little bit, and then we'll do some uh, test setups and see how hard this one is to set up. All right, so these batteries are all nice and charged. Now it's time to take a look at this gimbal. I went ahead and balanced it a little prior to restarting this video up. And honestly, it feels so much better than the Zion Crane Plus. And just for a real quick tip, in case you guys are first learning how to balance gimbals, don't balance with your lens cap on. Balance with exactly how you want your setup for your camera, because if you don't, that happens. All right, so I'm gonna take the camera off just to show you some of the locking features and how easy this gimbal is to balance. But just let me get this bad boy off. On this gimbal, there's several locking buttons on each of the axes. Now these locking mechanisms are not only good for long-term storage, but they help quite well when you're trying to balance the gimbal. Being able to lock separate axes while balancing another axis is just, it's just so clean. It makes it feel so much better than the Zion Crane Plus. So just real quick to show you how the locking mechanism works. If you click lock, which is this red button right here, it's gonna lock in place and not go anywhere. And honestly, I really, really love that feature. Another thing I really like about this gimbal that the Zion Crane Plus does not have is this base plate. This base plate slides around on the camera very nice and secure, and there's a lot of room to move the camera up and down. For those of you with heavier cameras and heavier lenses, you're gonna need this extra room to move it up and down to get a proper balance on your gimbal. Because if you're not properly balancing your gimbal, you're gonna destroy your motors and you don't want that. You want to try and increase longevity in this guy as long as possible. Now I mentioned before, my other gimbal, I had such a tough time balancing it. I just couldn't get it, it took me forever. This guy only took me like 10 minutes to learn how to do it. And that in itself is worth the money. So if you're looking into a gimbal and you're having a tough time balancing or you're not sure of your skill set in balancing, definitely consider the Weevil S. So the first thing you wanna do when you're balancing this gimbal is go ahead and slap your base plate on your camera. Leave yourself a little room here to adjust if needed. I had to slide it all the way back because I do have a heavy setup. And then the next thing I like to do is go ahead and lock this access like that. So you have a nice stable base to start balancing your gimbal. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just simply slide it on and you're gonna hear it click. Now there's a locking mechanism right here to ensure it's not gonna slide back and forth. 
But first, you're going to want to balance this axis. Now, to do that, you're going to want to get this to basically float like that. So right now, it's too front heavy. So we're going to have to slide that back. Okay, now I slid it back a little bit too much. Now it's too back heavy. So really, the key here is finding that nice equilibrium point to ensure it doesn't move at all. After you get a nice, good balance point, you're going to want to lock this mechanism right here to ensure it doesn't go back and forth. And you're going to know you did it right because you can tilt the camera in any way and it's going to basically stay there. This might be a little bit unbalanced, but it's close enough for this demo. Now we're going to want to go ahead and unlock the next axis so we can start balancing that axis. So we're going to unlock this axis right here. And as you can see, this controls the tilt axis. Now this is actually pretty balanced already because it's holding its position, which is what you want. But if we needed to balance it, which I'll show temporarily here, you can see there's a little locking mechanism right here that you're gonna have to unlock and you're gonna adjust your camera accordingly on this plate right here. So it's gonna move back and forth, which is going to adjust the way it tilts again. If it's, if it's rolling to this side, you're gonna to wanna to push it back this way and vice versa. And once you think you have the tilt right, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and lock that down so it doesn't move. And now the camera should be able to tilt one way and stay there, as well as that axis. So now we have two axes down, there's one left to go. Now, in order to start balancing the last axis, I find it easier to just lock both of the other axes first, so that way it's not moving around. Next, you're gonna to wanna to unlock this axis right here, and you're gonna lay it down like this. Now this gets kind of hard. You can use the table for so extra support, but for this, the purpose of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the camera. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is untwist this knob right here to release the pressure on it moving this part, see right here, back and forth. And what you're gonna wanna do is just balance it the same way. You're gonna want it to not move either in either direction. So as you can see here, it's too heavy that way. So we're gonna to wanna to push it back. And now once that's done and balanced, you're gonna to wanna to unlock everything to see how you did. And essentially, no matter what position you put your camera, it's gonna stay there. So like it stays here, move it back, stays there, move it up, stays there. Okay, batteries are in. We go ahead and unlock these bad boys one more time and go ahead and power this guy on. All right, and there you have it guys, a nice balance gimbal on my new Weeble S. All right, so I'm just gonna get my cat and do some test footage with this guy, some little bit of B-roll sampling, and then wrap up the video. All right, my overall impressions on this gimbal is probably a nine out of 10. User friendliness, it just hits the ball out of the park. This gimbal is so user friendly, especially for someone that's not really used to using gimbals yet. The build quality, it is plastic, but it's light and it feels like a quality product. Now the overall design, it feels so comfortable to hold on to. This handle, when going in this mode, it just feels like a professional gimbal. And lastly, the interface buttons that come on this gimbal it has a little LED screen to show you what mode you're in. It has a nice little joystick to move the camera up and down and pan left to right. And honestly, overall, extremely happy with this gimbal. Now in a later video, I'll do a full comparison between this Weeble S and my Zion Crane Plus in case you guys are interested in that. Please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and keep an eye out for that video or any of my other camera videos in the future. If you like this video guys, please consider hitting that like button and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching.